Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 14 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about how to install Angular Material and previously we learned how to install Bootstrap in our Angular applications. With that in mind, our basic setup is done, our basic requirements of running and learning Angular is set up. Today we'll start with Angular basic concepts. This episode I'm specially creating for folks who are absolutely new and even for those who are uh, experienced developers will get to learn something new because this particular episode will talk about the basic concepts which are required for you to learn and master. That's very important to know the end result or the end goal of what all we are trying to learn. Let's get started. This is part nine of the series. and. Before we start learning about today's episode, if you need have any doubts, any job support, technical help, training, if you need any help from my end, please write to me at surya.arathya at gmail.com. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. All right, so this is episode number nine. Uh, today we are learning about some of the basic concepts. Uh, what are We will only learn about the basic concepts, what they are and what all to learn as part of this particular series in general about angular if you have missed out on the previous episodes make sure that you have gone through each one of them i have covered in detail so that you can learn and master angular with me all right so let's talk about some of the basic concepts that everyone should know about for one you should know that angular is a single page application okay so single page application because once you generate a build you will only get few JS files, one index.html and one CSS file. Unlike other uh, applications, there won't be any multiple HTML files or etc. A lot of times people get confused with that. So Angular is a single page application framework which allows us to build applications but the out output when we generate the build, it will be a index.html. I'll real quickly I have shown this also to you but I'll show it again when we run the command ng build you would see that there is a dist folder that comes up it has only one index.html you will see here it's empty right now it's generating let's give it a quick 10 seconds so these are the concepts that are extremely important because from a deployment perspective or like when you grow in your career you should be aware of all these aspects of angular right it's taking a bit in the meanwhile if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do so to keep supporting me all right so it has generated our dist our folder so the output of any angular application will come in dist folder and you can see there is only one index.html and you if you open that index.html you see that there is no code right there will only be app root okay what is this component etc we'll learn in the next episodes for now your focus should learn that if angular is a single page application it has only one index.html and it will have multiple js files and a css okay this is a css that's all you should know because it's a single page application now any project of or any uh, product that you build on top of angular consists of lot of modules okay now what are modules in simple if I have to tell you it's just grouping of logical components and directives pipes together okay so think of it like that if your application has um, different features let's say users tasks let's say calendar etc these all become separate modules right so modules are nothing but logical group of your grouping of your logic in the application components components are nothing but each element that you see in the page is a component okay you can say a table right that you list or a list or a group of buttons those all can be components when you talk in real-time application you can think of concept components as header footer sidebar table view view page view users all these will become independent components those components when you group together becomes a module right so those belong to a particular module we'll cover that in detail so don't don't rush into learning i'm just covering high level topics touch basing them so that you know what all we have to learn in order to learn master and angular we have decorators then we have directives right uh, there is ng4 ng if uh, there are custom uh, directives that you can have and much more then you have services 
services are integral part because you will talk to some API uh, when you're building a dynamic application you have to work with a lot of dynamic API's URL get them data make a request get the response and process that's done as part of services routing routing is the mechanism in which how your application will navigate from one view to another one screen to another we can customize those routes we can secure those routes and do much much more pipes again pipes are for filtering data that we want in certain formatting certain filtering of data we can do do, do that using pipes templates anything that we see in a view right the HTML part of it that becomes your template in the templates we bind the data from our component class to templates that's called data binding when you make request and response to API's you might want to intercept them update data add tokens add check validations and then make a request those are interceptors HTTP is for making the network calls uh, proto HTTP protocol calls API's uh, request response all of that observables will be covered as part of HTTP finally we will also do some training and tutorials on unit testing because that's very important piece uh, any application that you write has to be thoroughly tested and hence unit testing will be very critical interfaces uh, models will create because you need to define TypeScript angular is written in TypeScript which means you need to define strict type uh, that's where we'll use interface class to define our new classes or types that we can extend so these are all the top uh, level concepts that we will learn as part of this series keep this as a note and make sure if you are preparing you need to prepare all these topics and perfectly do it so that they all can work together and make a beautiful angular application that being said um, in the next episode i'll start digging deep and we'll start with modules first and then we'll go to components then standalone components and and everything that i just covered as part of the concepts we'll start digging deep i hope uh, the base is set i hope your fundamentals are clear as to what we are going to learn i hope your application setup is ready in your local i hope your ui frameworks are in place whichever you want to prefer bootstrap or angular material i'll be covering both in some or the other variations uh, to keep going but primarily i think i'll focus on angular material but i'll also cover bootstrap for you okay that being said let's start with uh, angular modules in the next episode and we'll start writing code okay this is first thing that i can tell you is before we start next ep episode is it's not tough at all a lot of people think angular is tough and all that it's not it is very easy just stick with me just follow with me do what i'm doing start coding with me sometimes few things if it's not clear it will be clear as we progress okay so don't give up continue that learning stay with me ask me your doubts in the comment section thank you so much for joining in this episode let's build it out from next episode modules in angular application thank you